project for today is replacing the light bulb on this mini mag flashlight. <clears throat> this is a three cell D cell flashlight. Mini mag over the years have been a very popular flashlight with an all aluminum body. It was known for its strength and durability and also it's waterproof. It's got o-ring seals to keep moisture out. But over the years the LED flashlights have become more popular because they're brighter and smaller, a lot smaller. I think the uh, lumens of this light is probably only about 20. I saw a replacement bulb available at, at Walmart and I think that was only about 40 lumens. So I found another one online on uh, Amazon. This is the one made by the Doze Company or the Doso Company. Supposedly it's 220 lumens, but that's measured at a full 3 watts. I don't know how many watts 3 D cells put out, but let's take a look at the output of the light with the old bulb and maybe we can do a comparison. My trusty companion here, Stan. Stan, would you turn the overhead light out? It's on that switch on the power strip. Nope. No. Just push the switch. There you go. Okay. Shine the flashlight on the, the white sheet. Okay. That's our brightness. Has it got a focus adjustable by turning the bezel ring? Yes. Yeah, it does. So, okay. Right. I think it looks shinier or it looks brighter in the camera. In real life it has kind of a yellowish tint shining on the white paper, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Here's what it looks like with the room lights on with the old bulb. Let's take the front off. Camera man, are you paying attention? Yeah. Okay, you have to watch a viewfinder at all times. Okay, here's the front section. It's a flashlight with the bulb in there. I'm supposed to take this collar off. <clears throat> Screw this collar off like that. Okay, take the bulb out of the collar. Cameraman, are we centered? Yeah. Okay, you want to give me the new bulb? Wow, handle that just like a surgeon. Am I centered? Yeah. You're just saying that. What? No, I'm not. Okay, it's in place. Let's put this nut back on. Okay, put the lens assembly back on. Better work. I think that thing cost about fifteen dollars for the new bulb. Wow. It's not cheap. <coughs> Excuse me, not cheap, but this flashlight has a lot of sentimental value. This was a gift from the Museum of Flight for working on the restoration of the B seventeen. Okay, should we try it? Wow. Can you see a difference? Yeah, I can. It's a bluer color, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if the focus works. Let's take a look at the new bulb shining on the white paper in the dark. It's so much brighter. It's brighter, isn't it? One, one, I don't know how many lumens it is. It ought to use less battery power, too, since it's, it's an LED. 220 lumens. That's a three watts. I don't know how many watts we're putting out. That might be a good project for you to see how many watts 3D cells put out. Thanks for watching, everybody.